In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a site plan analysis the easy way. And we will do that with a tool called Rayon Design. So if you go here in your browser and uh, type in Rayon Design, you will have something similar to this show up. And this is an amazing tool because it's fast, it's easy, it has a lot of templates, and it is web-based, so you do not need a crazy high-end computer. You can also download it, or you can sign up uh, if you just click the first link below. Now, once you sign in, you will see a dashboard coming up, something like this. And I want you to go here at templates. And then if you go here at templates, you will be able to see that there are a bunch of templates that you can choose from. I can go here at search and we want to go ahead and type in site analysis symbols. And as you can see, this will open a ready to use template where you can use all the symbols, drag and drop them above an existing, I guess, site that would help us uh, create our site plan analysis. So uh, first things first, let's go to menu and then we want to import a PDF. So basically by going there, you can upload any type of uh, PDF or site plan that you have from any other software. So we'll use this and we'll import it. And then once we import this and then we can click pick insertion point and then we can just place it right here. Uh, let's drag it over at this side for a little bit. Okay, so overall, let's say this is your site plan and this would be, for example, uh, your actual um, side that you want to be emphasizing on. So what you can do is that if you go here at the polyline, you can basically go ahead and click with a line tool exactly where you want to highlight uh, which actual site you want highlighted. And in just a second, I'm going to show you how we can stylize it. So we selected it right there. And then here at fill, we can basically choose a color, for example, this red color. However, we do not need it as harsh. We can basically just go ahead and lower it a bit. Uh, that way it is emphasized, but it's not looking way too saturated. And then as far as the stroke goes, if you go here, you can choose different type of dashes and different ways that the stroke appears. Uh, so for example, we can just use uh, this uh, center one. Uh, this is still dashed. However, we can also uh, choose the line weight of how thick or how often we want the dashes to be. And then here at the weight, we can make them a lot thicker, for example, uh, something like this. Now, in this instance, if you go here at the site uh, symbol, site analysis symbols, you can see that there are a bunch that we can choose from. For example, we can choose this one, which would basically show where the sun is coming coming from and also uh, the orientation of uh, basically north, east, south, uh, west, etc. In this instance, we can basically uh, rotate it to something like this and then just leave it outside our angle. And you can see now that it shows exactly where the sun will be coming from. We can use these wind symbols to add more details in terms of the climate of the site. And then with all these other ones, we can basically add more information for any potential uh, bus stations that you have nearby. Um, and then basically it's super easy. You can drag and drop. And on top of that, one of the coolest things about Rayon is the implementation of styles. So for example, if we have a bus station there and then another one here, um, and then let's say we want to make these blue. Instead of having to do them one by one in an instance where we would have multiple um, objects of uh, the same kind of instance, uh, we can go here at shape and then uh, we could add this as a style. So we could replace the style at another style or even at the icon style, we can just edit the style, make the solid to blue. And as you can see, both of these will be changed. Um, and, and this just makes your life a ton easier. And if we also go back to this fill that we had here, you will notice that we can either leave it as a solid fill you can leave it as a texture. So for example, a more realistic texture. And then you could also leave it as a hatch, which would be something uh, like this, which is more graphical, etc., etc. But let's leave it to oblique for now. Let's transform this to a bit bigger. Let's make this uh, 2.5 times bigger. Let's make the stroke, for example, red. And as you can see now, uh, this has been modified and it is a bit more emphasized. Now, even in this instance, if we want to edit this symbol and let's say these red lines, we want them thicker, we can go to edit style and then at stroke, we can just make these four millimeters. As you can see, now they are immediately thicker. And then we can also use these gray dashes or anything else like that that we want to change. Cool. So now if you have gotten at this point, so basically you've uh, used all of these little symbols, you've dragged and dropped them for existing plans, typography, access points, sun directions, 
uh, and everything else. You can see these look super aesthetically pleasing. They're, they're just so well made. You can also control all of them here in the layer organization. So for example, you can see that we can add layers and edit and uh, organize our files a lot better. So if you go here at this um, actual drawing, if I hide the trees, you can see that they will no longer be shown here. However, uh, these are the site analysis symbols and we can turn them off or on. As you can see, it makes a huge difference onto how our site looks. And once again, you can basically change all of them to your liking and how it fits. Now, once you're done, you have multiple options. You can either share this with your colleagues, friends, collaborators, other architects, clients, etc., by using the share button and then sharing it as a presentation. So basically you can publish it as a presentation and then copy this link and send them and they do not have to have anything downloaded in the computer and they can view it from any device which is great um, so if you go right here and the presentation uh, will be loaded as you can see they will be open to access it with just a link which i think looks absolutely great now if we want these exported and if we actually want these to be as a pdf or a png what we will do is we'll go to page we will select one point and then the other diagonal and then we will go to another page from this point to the other side and now these are separate pages and what we can do we can go to export all and then we can either choose to export them as pdf or as a png this is how rayon design basically excludes all the complexity of traditional CAD software. And this allows you to focus on design rather than troubleshooting. If you want to go and try it out yourself, you can go and grab the template in the link below and you can sign up for absolutely free. If you want to learn more about Rayon design, make sure that you also go watch the video on my channel right here.